What up, people? <clears throat> so, I am actually eating right now. Bam! Got the seafood thing and black bean spaghetti. So, I actually bought this spaghetti rack here. And check out the macros on these, dude. Wicked good. Two grams of fat. 17 grams of carbs, but it's 12 fiber and 25 grams per serving. I usually eat a whole bag of this to get most of my protein out of the way. I also did some cold brew of a green uh, green tea and stuff. So a lot of time I'm too lazy to boil water and shit. But yeah, so I'm just making this and eating this. Oh yeah, this stuff. Let me just grab it from the trash really quick. Hold up. Bam. So, I got this seafood stew from Trader Jose's and six grams of fat per serving, eight grams of carbohydrates, 22 grams of protein, but there's two times out by two per container. And so, I'm hitting most of my macros early in the morning. Holy shit, I over, I'm overcooking this bitch. Just have a few things planned, going to work on my presentation for my talk at uh, Cal State Long Beach and what else am I doing? Jiu -jitsu. I'm meeting up, I might meet up my friend later and I have some, I'm gonna make some phone calls later too so time to get the work done motherfuck bitch man I um didn't end up going to Jiu Jitsu at all one of the reasons why is because I'm feeling actually really sick and I don't know I think I was feeling really good this morning, and then all of a sudden, like, after I left the coffee shop, I started coming down with something, I had the sniffles. I didn't notice it yesterday, because, um, after, after my banquet thing, um, with the BSA, I, I, we went to Hot Pot and stuff, or yeah. Pabu, with Joe and stuff, um, I think he's doing a vlog on it. But right now, I'm drinking a shitload of green tea, like, getting ready to leave, but yeah. See you guys. Dope, so I'm here right now. Look at this place. Bam! And so I just got a cold brew. They ra actually ran out of uh, they ran out of the nitro. I'm so bummed out about that because recently I got into nitro cold brews and stuff. It's so creamy and like, I don't know, it's really smooth. And yeah, I'm reading a book right now. It's called Talk Like Ted. It's a really good book if you're really into public speaking. And it's something I'm trying out right now. Hopefully I get more public speaking gigs in the future, but that's what I'm doing. So. Oh yeah, one thing I love about this shop, damn this hooks. A lot of time like when I go coffee shops, there's no hooks or anything like that. So it's like wicked, it's like wicked inconvenient to like put it on the ground at all time and then you gotta reach down. It's just like, dude, all these small subtleties like really matter. My girlfriend, she works at uh she works in healthcare like you do. Do man, do man, do man, do man, Gotta make hey, sure baby. That... So my camera's actually been turning on and off. Like it freezes. Maybe because you dropped it. Maybe because you fucking dropped it. Left it. Maybe you left it at the Lakers Stadium. Uh, I did. I did leave it there. Uh, he does not look so bad. Alright! Alright! <laughs> That's probably why they made me turn in my camera. Sylvia, why are you packing up? What happened? You do the kick out? You turn off the Wi Fi at 5. Yeah, because you're here for too long. This person. Dude, it's like 5 43, and you just noticed now. <laughs> oh, it's so cool, it's for like 15 minutes. <laughs> do man. Yeah. So do man. Guess what? So I, I was at this coffee shop, right? I ran into this guy. His name's Patrick. What's going on? What up? But he was actually reading a cool ass book. One that I actually recommend. The one thing. And we were talking about how like the mic from six pack shortcuts. Yo, yeah, yeah. We're talking about Kong and Jesse from Simple Pickup. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's awesome, man. Just, just meeting these people and yeah. how integrated and how connected we all are. Yeah, we started talking about uh, yeah. we actually almost talked for like an hour. An hour. Almost an hour, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we were talking about uh, multi-level marketing, <laughs> all, all sorts of different things, but Guys, like what I'm trying to get at is if you see somebody with a book or something and you have something, you automatically have something in common and you should just talk to them. Don't be scared, guys. So yeah, you get to meet cool people like this guy, man. All right, guys, I'll see you later. So what is Sylvia doing? Sylvia spotted a guy that looks like Joe and she's taking a picture of him earlier. 
Did you get the picture? It's like right over here. Do you see it? Like, in the I'll point it out on my video. Let me see this guy. It's not a guy. Bro. Joe's doppelganger. We've got everything here. We got the pish. We got all the side dishes. Sylvia's already eating. Rude. The Vietnamese people. So what do you get, Sylvia? This doesn't look hot at all, by the way. Uh, uh, uh. What? It looks like you're shoveling. I got um, dumplings. Have you had it before? Not here. So Sylvia's favorite place in K-Town is BCD. What? All day, every day. So we got the, the ice cream. Nasty yeah. ice cream. Try it. You'll love it. Let's see, this is how you treat girls when you're on a date. You bring them. Look at that face. <laughs> Sylvia, I like the chocolate guy. It's a bit better, yeah. If you're a chocolate guy and you like Sylvia, comment below, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What do you say? Why do you like the black guy? Why you like the black guy? Right now, I'm back home. Bree is checking her Snapchat. Ken is do the game. Yeah. And I'm about to FaceTime. Yeah. That's fun. I'm gonna say hi to them. Yeah. I think you've seen her before. Maybe. Yeah. First time. Hey, I'm gonna throw you in my Z vlog for a second. Like Bam! So I am vlogging my fan. Sunday. Say hi. Wait, hold on. Let me turn off the volume. Okay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> That is all, guys. We we're talking about like how, like whenever I tell people when I want to be an entre, I want to be an entrepreneur, people are always like, "Oh, so you want to open up your own pharmacy and stuff like that, <laughs> right?" And we we're talking about how so many pharmacies, like, after reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, like, what did you think? Um, it made me really question like pharmacy and like entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. like how far I can go in that and. Like, I like I just know that a lot of pharmacies that have opened just aren't doing well. They aren't competing mm. strongly enough against like big chains like CVS and Rite Aid. Yeah, and the ones that are are doing well, they have like really really niche markets and stuff like that. So it's either like, yeah. have you noticed like it's mostly like language niche, or like they mm -hmm. do compounding or some sort of like niche market like that. But um, yeah, but it's crazy. Like after reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, I just saw like so much of the liability behind having a pharmacy. People don't realize how much inventory costs, how much all the employee costs, like all these things. They're such, they're such a, it's a pretty high, high risk uh, operation, you know, at least at first yeah. for your first business. That's crazy, dude. You know, so yeah. There's a uh, this new pharmacy in my college town right now mm -hmm. that just opened up. Yeah, and they're advertising it like on Facebook and everything. Like they they're even doing like deliveries up to like like five or eight miles. What? And like they made an app. Yeah, and I was like, whoa, this is like they're really trying hard to like compete right now, but it's tough. You know, you know, one of the biggest barriers to like uh, pharmacy and stuff, like being a like even as a corporate chain, like sometimes we lose money on scripts because the reimbursement on everything sucks. Like when people people don't realize, so when you bring in your prescription, I bill it through your insurance, I get reimbursed by the insurance company. That's why you only pay $10. The actual cost might be like, what, 200 bucks, right? And the cost like that, the money you get from the insurance companies isn't as good as it was like even 10 years ago. Yeah, so that's that's been a real struggle, but it's very interesting to hear you say that because uh, yeah, you know you're 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 like looking into it and stuff like that, and you're just realizing that now. So I think that's really good. <laughs>